Research yesterday uh, came out with, and, and we've known this in the, in the functional medicine community for a number of years, that um, diabetes is, or Alzheimer's, is actually diabetes of the brain. And this research came out, um, study done on this. They found a very specific uh, receptor site molecule affecting the receptor site in the brain. Glucose is not getting into that receptor site. And literally, that's what they've determined is the uh, number one cause of Alzheimer's. They can reverse that if we can reverse biochemical, biological functioning of the body. And so that's really what I'm talking about tonight. I want to, um, I want to confirm, Dr. Hemmer, everything that he's doing. Everything he's saying about mindfulness and about the mind-body connection is real. It's totally real. Studies now confirm over and over again that our emotions change matter. Okay? So if we can if we have the negative emotions, what are we doing to the world? There's a fabulous movie out called A Secret of Water. It's probably been out for a while. And it's about water having memory. And who's familiar with Dr. Emoto out of Japan? Okay, so he's in that movie, but the concept is is that we our thoughts, our thoughts affect everything around us. They affect our emotions. They affect. It's interesting that you talk about the gut. The gut affects the brain. The brain affects the gut. It just goes both ways. The thoughts are affecting us down here. How many of um, how many have been in a situation where you've been ignored? Where is the first place that you feel it? First, the gut. the gut. It goes right from here. And it literally, I've read studies on this, it, being ignored literally is a kick in the gut. That's what they, physiologically, it's a kick in the gut. It's the worst possible thing you could do to your children. And to anybody. So I just want to confirm that. Everything that Dr. Himmer is teaching is absolutely true. I've attended over the last you know, two and a half years um, Dr. Joe Dispenza's work. I don't know if anybody's familiar with that. He's a chiropractor down in Yelm. What the bleep do we know? He was in that movie. And he's teaching the concepts of literally reprogramming. It's like Do Dr. Himmer was talking about reprogramming the thoughts the neural networks, it's, they now have proven it. He has, in his workshops, in his, um, that he has like two and a half day, three and a half day workshops, he has uh, brain mapping, the company brain mapping that does EG analysis. They put a cap on you and actually um, measure energy being emitted through meditations. Um, so baseline and then meditations. Heart math, the company in Southern California, also, a heart coherence. Um, uh, GDV is a, is a device out of Russia which measures um, the aura of an individual. So the energy we emit, we emit energy out from our bodies. Uh, I believe it's somewhere about seven to nine feet out. And um, uh, along with that, the chakra, the chakra centers, so the alignment of the chakra centers. So they, that machine measures all that. It actually measures, they can measure the energy in the room. So they do baseline, so the beginning, and then they'll do, um, you know, during the meditations, and they'll actually they're able to measure energy. So we affect each other. Um, news, it's interesting, it's talking about stress. You know what the the elevation in stress right now is? <laughs> That's interesting. I was talking to another uh, therapist about this. What what are you seeing in, with your patients now as they come in? What's the number one stressor? What do you think it is? Um, Pardon? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it's close. Fake news. <laughs> Fake news. We don't know. Any, we, we don't know what the truth is anymore, right? It's like, wh where is the truth? We can't trust anybody. And so a lot of people are, I mean, we're all freaking out about that. And so where do you go for the truth? Uh, I'm hoping that, you know, as I present tonight, we can talk about the truth. <laughs> uh, 
how many are familiar with the, the term functional medicine? Know what that is? Okay, good, excellent. Okay, and so tell us what it is, Sherry. <laughs> what I know. <laughs> a little bit of history of working with my daughter-in-law when she's seeking out that functional medicine is a medical practice that's based on more holistic it, it can be um, an MD that's really going from the inside out approach to um, and, and, and getting to systems good like excellent systems. In the case exactly of the thyroid not just giving a prescription but actually finding ways to um, change the metabolism so it's healed. Excellent, excellent answer. Anybody else on that? So it's, it's systems oriented. So what, what Dr. Hill was talking about is, is symptoms through the typical allopathic community, it's symptoms. And so what the doctors, they don't know any different. I'm not trying to, to bash anybody in that realm, but they just haven't been trained because that's the way they were trained in medical school is that you treat the symptoms and you throw a drug at the symptom and that's basically it. Symptoms, I've worked with uh, MultiCare here in Gig Harbor um, on, we have a, a therapeutic lifestyle change program called First Line Therapy and it's addressing um, the diet, Mediterranean diet, exercise, stress management, all those things that change the environment that is what functional medicine is about. It's basically systems, so it's connected to... Notice what's in the middle here. It's funny, the pointer doesn't work on this screen, too. So. <laughs> but notice in the middle, the mind-body. Uh, epigenetics is a big, big one. And it, Dr. Hemmer was, was referring to this. The science now is, in mindfulness, in meditation, um, we... It has been totally proven. There have been people uh, cured of cancers, of celiac disease, of many chronic diseases through proper mindful meditation and literally talking to the genes. Now, who understands what the genes are? So I don't want to confuse. Does everybody understand what? We have the DNA. The genes are the protein producers of the little guys. When we do meditation, we're talking to those genes. We're going from a big system down to literally talking to those guys and communicating with gratitude, with love, with wholeness. Those are positive, elevated emotions. We're replacing those negative emotions. They have absolutely know positively you can change genetic expression through mindfulness. Now, Metagenics is a 33-year-old company. You know, what, you know what our mission statement was 33 years ago? I, nobody's going to guess it, so I'm going to tell you. Uh, helping patients achieve their genetic potential through nutrition. And so we were way ahead of the curve on this, but we now know that that's absolutely true. Now, what's interesting is in order to make the jump to, from mindfulness, you still need to have a proper nutritional base. Most of us can't get to that space where we're thinking our way in changing the genetic expression that quickly. It takes a discipline. It takes an everyday practice of doing that. And so, again, proper nutritional support is really what we're talking about tonight. Okay? Um, let's see... Okay, so this is all basically the concept of functional medicine. They're systems oriented. We're trying to get down to the root cause to get a resolution of the problem. So if it's an autoimmune disease, if it's uh, chronic fatigue syndrome, if it's fibromyalgia, we're trying to drill down what systems are being affected by, um, you know, what's, what is affecting those particular systems. Fibromyalgia, by the way, is everything is related to the gut. This is a good one. This is uh, Rob Silverman's, Dr. Rob Silverman's uh, slide. Uh, Hashimoto's. Look at all the different uh, issues that are related to um, the gut. Again, notice the arrows going up to the brain and the brain going down to the gut also. Uh, so the gut, what is the gut? We talk about everything is related to the gut. What is it? Anybody want to answer that? Yes. Is our digestive 
digestive energy factory. Good. Excellent. And where does it start and where does it end? It starts at the mouth and ends at the end. Exactly. It's just, we're, I mean, literally, you would say we're tubular. I mean, that's literally what it is. It's a bunch of tubes going through there. And uh, what is interesting is that there are, intestinal wall contains hundreds of different species of healthy, unhealthy bacteria. And that's what we're going to talk about tonight a little bit. The probiotics, the bad bacteria, and the good bacteria in the gut. Specifically, we know L. acidophilus and bifidobacteria are the two most um, effective and prevalent uh, probiotics uh, in or bacteria in the gut. We also know that unhealthy bacteria and fungus is present. I'll show you some slides kind of showing what that looks like. Cell wall bacteria provide protection, filters out damaging substances for elimination, unhealthy bacteria, toxins. I want to talk very specifically about that. There is uh, who knows best your university in up in Seattle? Okay, so um, two co-founders of best year. One was co-founder of Metagenics, Dr. Jeffrey Bland. The other was Joe Pizzorno, Dr. Joe Pizzorno. He presented last month in a, a group of functional medicine doctors absolute evidence that the pesticides, the toxins in the environment are contributing to type two diabetes. I mean, on and on and on and on. Chronic diseases are related to toxicity. We cannot, it, it's no longer an issue as if you are toxic, but how toxic you are, every one of us. We can't, we can run, but we can't hide. <laughs> it's there, it's gonna get us. And so detoxification is a critical piece of restoring your health. Um, how many knew 70 to 80 percent of the immune system is in the gut? Okay, With one hand. Okay. How many know? How many know the percentage of serotonin, which is a neurotransmitter for wakefulness during the day? It's a balancing neurotransmitter. What percentage of serotonin is pr is produced in the gut? Seventy-two percent. Seventy-two. Wow. <laughs> it's somewhere between, I've heard it was 70 to 80 percent. Very good. Very good. Silverman uh, argues 90. Yeah, 90. Yeah. Um, so, uh, this is very, very critical then that our mucosal lining, this is a blow up of what it should look like. It's nice and uh, pink. There's good bacteria, bad bacteria. The bacteria in our gut has a, there's a symbiotic relationship. The good bacteria has a function, the bad bacteria has a function, so it isn't like we get rid of you know, the bad bacteria. The uh, problem with taking antibiotics is that it's like dropping a nuclear bomb in your gut. It sterilizes everything. And just like, um, you know, like after.